Dr. Zucker, very brave of you uh, to talk about your journey that so many women, so many of my friends uh, have faced. Tell us about your experience in, in miscarrying. Thank you so much for having me and including the hashtag in this conversation. Um, at 16 weeks pregnant, I had a miscarriage. It was actually a life-threatening experience because I, my miscarriage happened at home when I was there by myself. And it shifted my lens on life in general and pregnancy more specifically. Jessica, I, I want to get to a quote from the Washington Post. It says, I felt like the circumstances of my life were seen as a toxic threat. I was temporarily quarantined. That's from your op-ed. What I'm curious about is what is it exactly that keeps people from talking about this? My experience was I felt like people thought that miscarriage was contagious, that somehow if I even sneezed on them, let alone talked about my story, that somehow they too would have a miscarriage. Um, and I, I mean that sort of jokingly on some level, but seriously, it did no. feel like even some of my closer friends moved away from me. I think that people have a real fear around talking about out of order death. Mm -hmm. And this is the supreme example of that. We don't have a lot of control around what happens while we're pregnant. So people get terrified to think about potentially losing their pregnancies or, you know, maybe if they're planning to get pregnant in the future. They don't want to hear maybe about miscarriage because they're worried that it can happen to them. Yeah, and we actually just saw some pictures of your beautiful family and your children, and we're so happy for you um, for that. But, you know, I've had, like I said, so many friends that have gone through this, and, and, and the one thing I hear so often is people just don't, they don't talk about it, and they don't talk about the recovery and how your body feels after it happens and, and that you still sort of feel pregnant and, and, and your hormones are still, are still raging. That's also somewhat of a very difficult process, right? Because your body's still feeling it, but you know in your mind it's no yeah. longer there. Yeah, that's a very important point. I looked pregnant for a while afterward. My milk came in because, you know, I was far enough along in the pregnancy and um, it was incredibly intense to live in a body that at one point was quite pregnant and then um, within a moment was no longer actually pregnant, but I felt pregnant and looked pregnant. And yeah, the hormones and the shifts that happen psychologically and physically are incredibly intense.